Well, hello everybody! Welcome back to G Bears Off Grid Ways, a homestead in the desert. And here we are on another day, and I'm a little bit better. Um, moving around a little bit better. Not pushing it though. I don't want to relapse here. Gotta, gotta take it easy. Anyway, I the other day I disassembled uh, the uh, waste oil burner um, reservoir and all of that stuff. There's the feed t uh, pipe right there. And uh, I figured this is a good time to, to show you a little more detail on the, um, the hanger I made. This is it right here, okay? So... I got two brackets on there welded into place uh, welded there welded there both sides and that can mount on either a wood wall or a steel wall or any place you want to hang it all right and then this was the top end of this pipe so I cut I cut that off right there okay so once this is mounted, I took the top end, which has a tapered end on it, and I put that uh, welded on the reservoir tank. So now, that just slides into here, like that. Okay. So the, the bracket will be fastened to a wall up high. And then the tank just slips into place. So if I ever take, have to take the tank down for cleaning or um, anything else, it's easy. I just uh, disconnect the, the pipe that's going into it and uh, lift it off and do the cleaning. So that's, uh, that's what that's all about. And these four screws down here are what I had it temporarily held into the the fascia board of the uh, garage door so that I could do the uh, test the other day. And you see the rest of it is down there still attached to the tank. So I come up with a an idea. Um, my problem is that uh, I got to do some bending over and lifting and that stuff and I don't want to push it. So I'm going to give it a couple more days to get feeling better. But I want to get this moved in because we're going into freezing temperatures here this week. And then next week, they're saying the whole week is supposed to be rain. Starting tomorrow, we're going to have um, high gusting winds, 40 to 60 miles per hour out here. And then uh, next week, like starting Monday, I think it is, or Sunday night, Monday, um, going all the way through Friday to Saturday is supposed to be rain and it's supposed to be a significant amount of rain from what they're saying um, for this time of year for this part of California so that's going to be interesting all right so one thing I got to do is uh, I'm going to have to get this tape off of here and separate this um, extra elbow here because um, this is going to the back of the shop over there, right about where that pipe is coming down. That's my bull float for concrete. And I'm going to go up above the um, unit and then out the wall, I think, instead of cutting through the roof and then having to get up there and patch the roof before the rains come. So I want to get this thing working. And the plan I have is, uh, I think in that I got too many air holes in the the, the burner uh, plate, the pipe that comes through the burner plate, and I'm getting too much oxygen in there, so it's uh, it's cooling down the um, the burn plate and not giving me a good vaporization. So what I'm going to try to do to see if that's what the problem is. Remember, I had two different size holes. I can move that so I can show you. I got two different size holes drilled in that center pipe. I got three eighths times four going up and down. And I got five sixteenths 
by five going up and down. So what I'm going to do is I've got loads of empty bullet casings that I collect around the desert as I'm out there. For two reasons. Uh, I do reload uh, quite a few different calibers. But I also, um, if they, if I don't want to reload them and it's not a caliber I need, I uh, um, save them up for brass because I'm going to be making another one of these that has a blower on it and it'll be smaller. It'll be in a uh, propane tank size unit, but it's uh, it'll have a concrete liner inside of it and it's going to be a forge for um, melting metals. And I'm going to do it with waste oil so I don't have to buy propane to do that. And then I will melt down um, extra brass and extra copper that I have laying around into small bricks. And I can also use it for when I'm doing my gold panning. And when I get gold, I can melt down the gold. And I have the forms for that to do a quarter, half, and one ounce um, uh, bricks. So I will make some bricks of uh, brass and copper and store those away because the price of that stuff is going up just as fast as gold is, if not faster. So that's all becoming a pr precious metal here in, in the world. So I'm going to start saving some of it up. Uh, and whenever I have copper wire, little pieces of that, I'll just throw it all into a, a container. And then when I get enough to melt down, I'll, I'll melt it down in my forge and then pour it into molds and uh, set that stuff aside. That's uh, money for the future. So anyway, that's about all I have for today. I just wanted to show you all that. I got to do some clean out in here and uh, make room for the burner to be right about here. About center of the two doors. And I'll clean a, a path so I can get in and out and around it and that stuff. And uh, I'm also going to make a sand battery. And those of you don't don't know what a sand battery is, um, just ask me down in comments and I'll be glad to demonstrate a sand battery for you. And the other thing I'm thinking is uh, I'm going to get back to some of my electrical experiments while I'm healing here. Because uh, those don't take much... Um, strain or not a lot of lifting or anything like that and I've got this idea I've uh, experimented with dirt batteries in the past and you can find that stuff in my electrical experiments and stuff um, what do they call those things playlist so uh, you can go there and take a look at it but uh, instead of just doing it out in the dirt out there I'm going to try doing it in a container where it's closed. And I've got an idea of adding um, charcoal to the uh, soil. And then I'm also going to uh, put a, a good electrolyte in there. And uh, in the other container, which is locked right now, I have uh, some uh, brass and... Uh, stainless steel plates so I'm going to make a battery with some plates and see what kind of voltages I can get out of that and uh, I think it'll be a fun experiment let me know what you guys think down below in the comments don't forget to, to give me a thumbs up share and subscribe this is G Bear signing off